Hey folks, Dave here. Welcome to the channel. So uh, we got through Thanksgiving and uh, Christmas is coming on fast. Uh, so I thought it would be a good time to make an ornament for the tree. So we're going to make a three layer ornament and this is what it looks like. So we're going to start by grabbing a circle. Hold the shift key to draw out a perfect circle. Click your selector tool. Uh, go up top. We're on millimeters. Make sure your lock is on. And we're going to make this 90 millimeters. And that is somewhere in the neighborhood of three and a half inches. So remember, you can use your mouse wheel to scroll in and out. And you can push down and move the entire canvas around. Uh, so we are going to move one of these off to the side. That'll be our backdrop. We will duplicate Control D. Use the left arrow key to move it out. And with it selected, we'll go to the offset tool. We're going to make a inward offset round and make it six millimeters. Then you want to select it, go up top and group it together. Select it again, control D. Use the left arrow key again and move one out. So now there is all three layers. Uh, so over in the um, art library, I've got four uh, vectors that I downloaded for free. And I'll put links to all of these in the description so you can go get them. I believe we will start with this center layer, which will be the mountains. So let's grab the mountains. Uh, when you pull this vector out, you can see that there's some little uh, parts in here that were intended by whoever originally made it. But we want to get rid of those. So you want to select it, go up top, ungroup, Select your mountains, move them out, and then you can select these pieces and just delete them with the delete key. All right, now we want to resize this a little bit. Maybe. Just go to the corner, resize it. We're just going to set it in here somewhere like that. We'll make it a little bigger, maybe stretch it up like that so when you're spanning a an open space like this um, I got a question recently about someone selecting their objects and then clicking weld here and then their item disappears and he wanted to know what was going on I'm gonna control Z and uh, that question came from Chuck uh, so, what you have to do is select and go to Union here, or you can go up to Tools, down to the Boolean Assistant, and if you scroll over the Assistant, each of these options, it'll show you what works best. So, we want this first one. Click OK. Thank you for the question, Chuck. I hope the uh, I hope union worked for you. So, after you union this together, you want to select it because we don't want this space here at the bottom. So all you have to do is select it, go up top, click ungroup. Then you can grab this piece, pull it out, and click delete. So now it's solid. But then you have to go back. And group that back together. Okay, so now uh, let's grab our reindeer, pull it over, 
You don't have to ungroup this one. Just resize it. And make it as large as you want it to be. That should be okay. The, the mountains are in the distance, so it's okay if he's uh, as close to, uh, you know, the size of the mountains. It's not, not a big deal. Whatever I said. <laughs> then you want to select everything once you get it placed. Just make sure it's touching. And then go back over to Union and click Union. And there you go. I think we will set a Christmas tree. Here. Somewhere about there. And again, if you're looking at perspective, it can be in the distance as well. You could even raise it up some and make it look like it's more off in the distance. Um, but we'll put it here. And then we will add, let's grab a square and just draw a rectangle. Click the selector tool. And we will give it a trunk. And just, if you hold the uh, Alt key when you're moving your items together, it helps you to line them up a lot better. It'll give you those guidelines, which is a really nice feature from the smart folks at Lopper. Uh, then you can select your trunk with the tree. And in this case, you want to click Weld. Now you have it welded. You want to select your tree with your background. And click Union again. Okay. Uh, let's get this snowflake. We'll put a couple of these in here. Just resize it. Set them wherever you like. Just make sure they're touching the edge good. You can turn it around. Let me get this in a little closer. You can spin it around a little bit and make sure it's touching. Then select it with the, the rest of it and click Union. And there you go. Let's put another one. Just resize it. Set it wherever you like. Make a couple of the edges touch. Select and Union. And I think we are there. So, of course, this will set here. And then this will set on top. So now we just need uh, to make a, uh, a hole in the top so we can put a uh, put a hook or a string or something through uh, we'll put it on this center one so we're going to grab a circle hold the shift key just draw out a circle click the selector tool grab a square and just draw out a rectangle over it about halfway then we're going to select the circle shift and select the rectangle and then go over to subtract and click subtract. And we can just squeeze this up a little bit. Set it on top. Just make it something that looks good to you. You can hold your alt key again and get this centered. Let go. Then you can select. And in this case, it's a weld. So just weld it in. Grab another circle. We can scroll in a little bit. Hold shift. Draw out a little circle. Again, hold your alt key to get it centered. Drop it in there. And then you can just group it together. Now we have our hanger. And I believe our ornament is done. So let's cut it out see what it looks like. Uh, give me a few minutes to get the laser set up, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're framed up and ready to go. 
Uh, we're using three millimeter basswood plywood. And this piece is warped a little bit. I guess it, uh, I don't know, sat around the shop too long. And uh, I'm tying it down with some homemade tie downs. I do have the magnetic ones, but uh, before I bought another set of those, I checked the price and they're like 30 or 40 bucks for six of them. So I just made some myself. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll drop a link down in the description and you can check it out. They work really well and you can save yourself some money. Okay, let's send this code on over, cut it out and see what this looks like. Okay, let me clean this up, put it together, and we will see what it looks like. Okay, well, here's our finished ornament. I just uh, sanded it off with some uh, 400 grit sandpaper and uh, then glued it together. So if you, uh, you want to see a specific type of Christmas ornament created, uh, just let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to, uh, to do that. And if this video was helpful, please like and subscribe. It'll help the channel grow, and it'll help me to keep doing this. I like being in the shop, and I appreciate you folks watching. I know there's a lot of things out there you could be watching besides this, so I appreciate it. So I'll put links, uh, like I said, to the, uh, the tie-downs, as well as for the uh, mountains, the, the deer, the tree, and the snowflake. And uh, you can grab you some more while you're out there if you like. And I also have a video for how to create a uh, free Christmas art library. And I'll put a link to that as well. So, I uh, appreciate you folks watching. Just check back often for new videos. Y'all take care and we'll see you next time. Thank you.